Good morning guys, it's Rebecca here, and we are going to do a little bit of a sketch and render. So today, blank canvas, we're going to sketch it out and render it, and then probably convert it into a model. So we're back to, we're going to go into the Dungeon Master's Guide, and we're starting A to Z on the list, and starting at A, which is Adamantine Armor, pretty sure I'm saying it. Uh, we're going to read it out, we're going to sketch it, render it up in, on paper, then we're going to model it for anyone who might want the SDL. All right, so we're going to read off the description. So Edamine 10 armor is a medium or heavy, but not height armor. It is uncommon, which means it's pretty easy to find, actually. Uh, the suit of armor is reinforced with Edamine 10, one of the hardest substances in existence. While you are wearing it, any critical hit against you becomes a normal hit. Uh, so it's pretty good. Uh, one of the good, really good things about this is it doesn't require attunement. So you can be wearing it and not take up one of your, because you only get three attunement slots. So that's pretty nice. And yeah, uh, crits can be, you know, a party, like a, a player killer, like a, a heavy crit on an attack that does a lot of damage already could you know, t take you out in one hit. So it doesn't have no like crazy resistances or buff your AC, but you know, just having it like that is really good. And maybe eventually you could get it enchanted. I don't know if enchanting adamantine works, but who knows? So we're gonna sketch it. Uh, there's no like reference material in the DMG, so I'm gonna have to think about what I do. I know it's not hide, so it could be plate, chainmail. Uh, I was thinking plate armors, but I was gonna go for. So I'm gonna look up some references, and then we're gonna get to sketch them. drawn armor before. It's actually pretty difficult. So we got a little simple metal man. I'm going to clean up a lot of the lines when I go in and do the rendering with some dark grays and then come back in and add some color to those plates and stuff. So that's the start. I'm going to bring it back, back in and let's get into the next part.
uh, I think it turned out a pretty good render. Uh, it's not like the most detailed, but Anomantine is like a, just like a solid silverish color, it's just like any other metal. Uh, so I kind of went with like a, a plated armor look with a little bit of chain mail. Like here, it's hard to see. Uh, I couldn't make tiny little rings with these uh, the pins I have. Uh, the fine tip's just not fine enough. So I kind of made it like a, like I put the rings in and then went in and tried to fill them in a little bit just to give them a little more cut detail. But it's just, pretty much it's just a little middleman. Uh, I did not do the gauntlets or the feet because I didn't think I could draw them at all. Uh, so, but Animantine little armor. Uh, so that is it for this one. Uh, next, we're gonna try to model it. I don't know how I'm gonna model this exactly because there's so many parts. I might do mostly like maybe the chest plate area and see if I can do that like any good amount of justice. So, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit the like button. Uh, we're gonna go th keep going through the book if I can find where I sat it. Yeah. Next time we are doing the alchemy jug, which I think we will have a lot more success with. It's less complex than a holstered armor. But hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you guys next time.